This is important. You want to avoid strikes on your channel, right? Google has a free product that you can use to evaluate your custom thumbnail images. What's this all about and why is it so important? Hey, this is huge. I'm Rob and I'm a YouTube product expert and I have been since 2011. All right, super important. We all know YouTube has been using algorithms for a long time. It's necessary for the scale of the platform as it grows and grows. Hey, hey something like 2 billion users log on to YouTube each month. Amazing. More recently, YouTube has started using artificial intelligence to handle a variety of things on the platform. And of course, along with AI comes machine learning. It's what it is. So, what does this have to do with custom thumbnail images? What has changed that we must now be much more careful with the thumbnail, the thumbnails that you and I upload? Back in January 2019, YouTube announced that they're going to increase step up policy enforcement for thumbnail images. And boy, they have. I'm seeing more and more creators like you and me sharing reports of thumbnails being removed and getting a community guideline warning or worse, a strike. And the same three strikes and you're out channel termination applies to thumbnail images. Whew, scary. We need to step up our thumbnail game and that's for sure so how can you make sure that your thumbnail images will be within community guidelines it would really stink to create videos that are well within the rules within the guidelines only to get a warning or a strike because of a thumbnail image jeez Google has a product that you can use for free to evaluate your thumbnail images. It's pretty amazing. It's called Cloud Vision API. This is a Google product for image understanding, and I find it pretty gosh darn amazing. So, how does it work? So when you load up the Cloud Vision API, you see this page and you click on the box there to select the image that you want to analyze from your computer. And you'll see it kind of blurred out with the wheelie thing going round and round. You have to make sure that you click the I'm not a robot. And then this is what you see. You see your image and some boxes on it and then you see the selections down the side. Joy, sorrow, anger, surprise and it's giving you an idea of what's in the picture. And you'll notice that obviously headwear has been selected. Then you click over on objects and it even says I have a sun hat on my head and that it's a man hat person. So again, it's giving you an idea of the content that's in the video, in your image. And then we click on labels and you see things, facial hair, build, beard, it thinks I'm taking a selfie, <laughs> fingers, mustache, making a gesture. And again, this is all things that just help you understand what YouTube thinks is in your thumbnail image. And then the web, this is giving you an idea of, of web entities that have similar types of, of content. So for example, if we, these are hot links here. So if I click on the word beard, you see these, these beard choices pop up. So you can kind of check out what your is relative to your, your image. And then if you click on text, it sh shows you that what to do is the text in this image. So YouTube is understanding and analyzing the words that you use on your thumbnail. That could certainly be a big deal. And then the last selection there is safe search. And this is telling you if YouTube thinks you have adult content, spoof content, you know, medical violence, or the last one there is, is racy content. And of course, these are all 
for my picture, I mean, it's pretty makes sense that everything is pretty much unlikely. The challenge is crafting a thumbnail image that encourages a click, hey, higher click-through rate, but doesn't get us in trouble with YouTube policy. So here's an image from this channel. That first image was from my regular Living Life DIY channel. This image is from this channel, my Cracking the YouTube Algorithm video. And you can see my face, it says surprise, and that I'm also have headwear on. The emotion that you're showing in your face. And again, surprise, and they know that I've got my hat on. Clicking on objects, it's a man. And interestingly, it says fruit, which of course I'm holding an egg in my hand. And that, you know, again, I've got the hat on my head. Now this is a big one here, logos is, it's showing that I have the YouTube logo on my hat and I'm also using the YouTube logo in my text. So they're aware that I'm, I'm using, you know, product logos. And if we click over on the text selection, again, YouTube on my hat and then cracking YouTube algorithm. And it even understands the word cracking when I have it broken in the middle there. So that's pretty interesting that again, YouTube is understanding the words that you're using. And then the safe search, it's unlikely adult, spoof, medical, and it's actually for racy, they've got possible. So that's kind of interesting. So again, that's the thing you might want to analyze and say, ooh, maybe I better tweak my thumbnail a little bit. And here's another thumbnail that is from my Live Life DIY channel. And I use this one because of, um, the logo and the products. So you see here again, headwear and it's got a face and it doesn't see that I'm making any kind of, of emotion there. We click on object and person, hat, man, nothing too exciting there. Click on labels, facial hair, beard, and this is interesting, vehicle, and then auto part and car. So keep that in mind. That's, that's kind of interesting. Now we get to the logos and you see it has pool in from being on the chainsaw there, the, on the bar, pool in pro. So they're picking up pool in and they're actually picking up tractor supply company from the logo that's on the hat that I'm wearing. And we click on web and we get the web entities that are related to what might be in this thumbnail. And oh, look here, what's interesting, Pool and Pro PP4218. They, the Google actually, from the image, they know exactly what model chainsaw that is. That, that is pretty amazing. And again, they're picking up the text, brand new. And then off the hat, TSC, and it should be supply. And then Pool and Pro on the chainsaw. And then it actually over in the little, over on the guard over there, it actually says pool in again. And then for safe search, adult, spoof, medical, you know, nothing exciting there. So that's all pretty darn important to help you with your thumbnail images. We have been able to be lazy with our thumbnails. My opinion, we are going to have to be more and more careful with what is in a thumbnail copyrighted content, trademark content, logo content, and we're gonna have to be super careful of incidental content that's in the background. And that the thumbnail reflects, complements the topic and content that's in the video. Subscribe so you will get the most current updates for your channel. And hey, watch another video. It's all about fixing your problems and answering your questions. Growing on YouTube.